Michael C. Kimage is a professor of history at Catholic University, senior non-resident associate at Center for Strategic and International Studies. Mr. Kimage is joining us live from Washington, D.C. Sir, thank you very much for making time for us and welcome to the show. Before we talk about Putin's re-election, what do you make of the warnings that the Russian leader issued that Russian NATO conflict is just one step from World War III, cautioning the West over sending troops to Ukraine and even claiming that NATO personnel already is in Ukraine? Well, there's the real war, uh, which is at the moment going fairly well for uh, Russia, but is, of course, two years old uh, and will be a very long war fought on the territory of Ukraine. And then there's the war of words. Uh, and the war of words has intensified over the last couple of weeks. Uh, but, um, you know, I think it's largely a, shy, a sideshow to the actual uh, war. The verbal escalations are not necessarily being met uh, by escalations on the ground, either from the NATO side uh, or from uh, the Russia side, which I suppose is, is good news of a kind. Mr. Kimmage, let me ask you this, because the West is not pleased with uh, Putin's re-election. Um, some of them have called it undemocratic. And also Putin took a swipe at the U.S. He says that uh, the world is laughing at the U.S. elections. What do you make of these statements? Well, for a long time, uh, Putin has characterized American politics as chaotic and uh, highly polarized, which is uh, to a large extent uh, true. Uh, and, you know, this serves the needs of Putin within uh, Russia uh, in terms of, you know, presenting Russia as sort of more stable uh, and more uh, orderly. But of course, it's, it's, it's obvious, I think, to all outside observers that Russia's election was not uh, democratic at all, uh, was just a kind of ritual of, uh, of regime perpetuation. So it's, it's sort of difficult to compare American politics uh, and, uh, and Russian politics. But Putin uses the, the real problems of American politics to exaggerate for his own domestic political purposes. Mr. Kimage, Russian president has been re-elected for another six years. What does this say about the war in Ukraine? And what's the future of Ukraine? Well, to take the first question uh, in order, I think from the Russian side, uh, unless there would be a revolution, which seems extremely unlikely in Russia, this is a war that Russia is going to prosecute for a long time. And I think it's useful for us to think of this in terms of decades, not uh, in terms of years. Uh, that, of course, is going to be a very difficult reality for Ukraine to live with. Very likely, the darkest year in the war for Ukraine is going to be 2024. Uh, it's going to be this year. Uh, and then I think that there's reason to believe that uh, Ukraine's prospects will improve. But these are prospects not so much of Ukraine outright winning the war, uh, but of uh, achieving its own uh, survival. So it's, it's a difficult reality, uh, but uh, as hard as it, as it is for Ukraine, uh, Russian victory is very far from being around the corner. All right, I've been talking to Mr. Michael C. Kimage, who is a professor of history at Catholic University, senior non-resident associate at Center for Strategic and International Studies. Mr. Kimage, thank you very much for talking to us today. Thank you for having me. For all the latest news, download the Wion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.